no flex So uh, they know better uh, yeah. They know better yeah, yeah. No flex So no flex So, no flex, so uh, they know Hey gems, welcome to part two of my 360 wig series. So as you can see, I was not feeling that color. The first color was like a uh, 99J burgundy-ish with black. So I went over it with a adore color, which is violet gem. And it came out this gorgeous purple color, which outside it is super purple, but inside it looks this like purplish, I guess wine looking color so right now I'm just showing you guys how I use the scissors to start off the cut and then I'm going to finish it off with a razor so that I can get a more natural looking hairline and it doesn't look like all even because no one's hairline is even So now that all the lace is cut off, I am going to go ahead and prepare to cut off the back lace and then I am going to get my hair ready with some alcohol. You want to use alcohol to wipe off any excess oil or residue from just whatever because you need for it to be nice and oil free so that the wig can stick with the got to be glue gel now i am going to go ahead and apply my brown stocking cap this is optional if you don't want to wear the brown stocking cap you don't have to but i just chose to wear it because i think it looks a little bit natural so now i have my got to be glue you want to grab like a little bit bigger than a pea size them out and you want to go ahead and just layer that on your edges after layering you want to go ahead and put your dryer setting on cool make sure it's on cool and you want to dry that once it becomes tacky you want to add a second layer And now I am going to spray that with some got to be glued freeze blast spray. And now you want to go ahead and dry that second layer with the dryer on cool once again. Now you want to go ahead and put your unit on. You want to go ahead and pull the front of your lace right down over and you want to press very hard and try to kind of mash the lace into the got to be glue. Now also you can if you want the back of your wig to be the same you can repeat the process for the back by putting the got to be glued in the back and putting your lace down in the back. I chose to not do that because I don't think I'm going to be wearing my wig up in any ponytails or buns in the back. I let this head scarf sit on my head for about 15 minutes to get my um, front of my frontal further sh um, straight and to also get it to stick a little bit better. So now I am pulling out the baby hairs that I've already cut out earlier when I was making the wig in part one. You guys know I am not a big fan of baby hairs, so 
this is just something new for me I just tried to do something to kind of I guess cover up the legs but I ended up putting them back in because once again I'm just not a big baby hair fan so guys I am going to definitely keep it real with you guys this hair curled absolutely amazing and I was very lazy I only put about 14 jumbo curls in my hair and that's about it so you guys please make sure you thumbs up this video if you like this video let me know what type of style you would like to see me do with this unit and um, as always be blessed I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video bye